Daddy, you are greatly to be praised. Oh, greatly to be praised. Father, you are great. Are you alone? You are Lord. You are greatly to be praised. Oh, greatly to be praised. your creator, your savior, your redeemer, your shield, your fortress, your buckler, your refuge, your strong tower, our God yesterday, our God today, our God forevermore. Are you thank him for your life, for his mercy, for his loving kindness, for his protection, for his preservation, for answer prayers of the past, for the present answer prayers, for the prayer he will yet answer. Can you lift up your voice and show gratitude to God this morning? Can you thank him on behalf of every member of your household for hearing your cry, for preserving every one of you? Can you thank him for good health? Can you thank him for the gift of life? Can you thank him for his ceaseless blessing? Can you thank him for open heaven and open doors? Can you magnify the Lord this morning? Oh, for all the good things that God has done for you. For all the good things that the Lord has done for you. The psalmist said, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Go ahead, bless the Lord this morning. Oh, my riba take about the one that keep thee, the one that preserved thee, the one that bless thee. Oh, bless his holy name. Thank him this morning. Just tell God how grateful you are. Tell the Almighty God how grateful you are for all he has done in your life. For all he's doing in your life. For all he will yet do. Masaka la brandeka santali. Thank God for what God is doing in this program. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Thank God for what he's doing in his church. For it is not by might, it's not by power, but by the spirit says the Lord. Let's give him glory. He deserves all the glory. He deserves all the honor. He deserves all the adoration. For frustrating all our enemies. For not allowing the wicked to rejoice over us. For cutting off all the horns of wickedness. For bringing to an end all the wickedness of the wicked. Let's appreciate God for sending help to us. For helping us on every side. If not for the Lord who have been on our side. Ha, give him glory. For how you have escaped the trap of the wicked. The snares of the fowler. Masuka balega de gazantalia. Ye bragadaboska. Brother, you can never thank God enough. Lift up your voice and show your gratitude from the bottom of your heart. Tell God how grateful you are. You have no cause to mourn. You have no cause to weep. You have no cause to sorrow. You have no cause to run helter skelter. Appreciate God, Sali Kababa, for no alien scandal in your life. Blessed be the name of God. In Jesus, most wonderful name, we have given thanks. Can you lift up your voice to heaven, Lord, and clear? The Bible says. The eyes of the Lord does not behold iniquity. And he said, if I allow iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Lift up your voice loud and clear and say, Father, for all my iniquities, for all my transgressions, for all my shortcomings, for all my inadequacies, 
have mercy, O God, and wash me by the blood. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? I had the Lord to wash you by, your, by the blood. I had the Lord to cleanse you by the blood. But then can you lift up your voice and don't allow any voice to override your voice. Let God hear you like batting me on this morning. Parika balaboka santalia. The Bible says the eyes of the Lord does not behold iniquity. And the psalmist say, if the Lord, if I allow iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Therefore, I the Lord to purge you this morning by the blood of the Lamb of God. I the Lord to wash you clean by the blood that was shed on my cavalry. That not to hinder your prayer today. That the Lord will hear your cry today. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have prayed. I thought somebody would say a better amen. Can you lift up your two hands to heaven? You want to take three prayer points very quickly, and I know my God will answer you. Only one person said amen. I say, My God will answer you. Joy chapter 3, verse 18. Joy 3 18 says, And it shall come to pass. When will it come to pass in your life? In that day, and when is the day? That the mountain shall drop new wine and the hill shall flow with milk and all the river of Judah shall flow with water. You will never know dryness anymore. And a fountain shall come forth of the house of the Lord and shall water the valley of Shitty. Lift up your two hands. Your goodness. Lord, let me see your goodness. Lord, let your goodness locate me. Almighty Father, let your goodness locate me on every side, on every side, on every side. Lord, let your goodness locate me. Papa Mage, Gazuka Labo Shantalia. Zagalala, Gashetelele. That let me see your goodness. Let me taste of your goodness. All the days of my life. I and my entire household. I and all your children in this assembly. Lord, cause up the taste of your goodness. Hey, Kalipa Kuta, Papote, Zalaguza, Jegleke, Tunda Braga, Satan, Dalale, Kusapo, Tobranda. That the cause of the taste of your goodness. Thank you, mighty Father. Hey, Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. Lift up your two hands and say, Father, you can do better. Say, Father, everywhere I go today, everything I do today, crown it with goodness and crown it with sources. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Everywhere you go today, everything you do today, let the Lord crown it with goodness and with sources. Kaliba to gabashin telele Zalika palema santo brande Zakaka ba yipota Bori brande ka santalia Everything I do today, everywhere I go today, Lord crown it for me with goodness and with sources. In the name of Jesus. That as I go out today, I will return with testimony. Is somebody praying at all? Kareba baba kashen telele. Gazali mama kasun talia. Zakala baka santalia. Thank my chief father. Hey, Jesus. Most wonderful name we have prayed. Father, we say good morning. Loving God, we appreciate you. You are a good God. A great God. A mighty God, a merciful God, a gracious God that He has set our thanks. Thank you for what you did on Monday. Thank you for Tuesday. Thank you for yesterday. Thank you for another brand new day. Thank you for today will be glorious. Today will be wonderful. Today will be marvelous. Today will be special. Daddy, let it be so in the name of Jesus. Daddy, for the past answer prayer, we say thank you. For the past victory, we say thank you. For the past breakthroughs, we say thank you. For the past signs, wonders, and miracles, we say thank you. For the past healing and deliverances, we say thank you. Lord, everything you have done, Lord, I said our time that about Jesus. Daddy, because your eye does not be holy iniquity, this morning, by your blood, punch every one of your children in that about Jesus. Wash us clean this morning in the name of Jesus. Purify all for your visitation in the name of Jesus. Daddy, for all your children, wherever you find a louder amen. Daddy, I decree that their mountain will drop new wine. 
your hills will flow with milk. Your rivers will bring forth water. You will never know dryness again. Ah, you will taste of the goodness of the Lord. Ah, for somebody saying the Lord, amen, you will taste of the goodness of the Lord. And you will also see the goodness of God in all your ways in the name of Jesus. For everywhere you go today, God will cry today for you with his goodness. God will cry today for you with success. You will not go out empty and return empty. God will command hell for you today. You will have reason to rejoice today. Men shall congratulate you today. I say men shall congratulate you today. Either you say amen or not. Men shall congratulate you today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every agenda of the wicked concerning you today. Let the Lord of hosts frustrate them in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of the wicked targeted at you today, it shall backfire. It shall be turned back to sender. In the name of Jesus, I decree the heaven over you today to be open. I say, I decree the heaven over you today to be open. I decree open doors for you. I say, I decree open doors for you. I decree a new glory upon your life, a new glory upon your home. A new glory upon your family, a new glory upon your business, a new glory upon your career. Today, your expectation will not be cut short. Ah, today you will not hear evil news. I say today you will not hear evil news. All the elements of heaven will cooperate with you today. The ground will cooperate with you today. The sun that shall rise today will cooperate with you. Every man, every woman that you meet today, they will cooperate with you. Anything that wants to work against you today, let your God work against them. I said, let God walk against them. The name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And somebody will say it louder. A powerful. Three powerful amen. Lift up your right hand very quickly and say, I worship the most high God. The gracious God. The ever faithful God the ever loving God and the ever caring God I declare and I confide concerning me and my entire household that we shall experience positive wind or change and there shall be shout of rejoicing in our tabernacle by the grace of God I declare and I confess that the hour have come and it shall come to pass that the mountains shall drop new wine for me and the hills shall flow with milk. I shall flow in prosperity. I shall flow in wealth and abundance. I shall flow in power and anointing. I shall flow in wisdom and understanding. I shall flow in joy and I shall flow in favor before God and man I declare and I proclaim that my season of dryness are over and my river shall flow with water I shall blossom and flourish for the rest of my life I shall not suffer defeat but I shall be victorious over every enemy within and without I will finish well, finish strong. My ending shall be far better than my beginning. I will not go to hell. I will reign eternity. I will love the Lord and I will serve the Lord all the days of my life. In Jesus' name. Go ahead, bless the Holy Ghost. She pole brande kaku kapa da ke gazunta li mama kaba ye gazunta brande kasanta li. Thank you, mighty Father, and so shall it be in Jesus' name. Your confession shall become testimony. One more time, your confession shall become testimony. As the Lord have had you spoken in His ear, so shall He do. In the name of God the Father, God the Son. God the Holy Spirit. I thought someone would say a powerful amen. amen. 
seven good times. One to go. Two, three, four, five, six. Jump on your feet and say. Jump your hands together for the Almighty God and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Can I prophesy to your life? In that name that is above every other name, may the wind of grace blow goodness into your life. In Jesus' name. I tell your email will be louder than your neighbor. Put those in one more time and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Celebrate your victory this morning. Celebrate answer prayer this morning. Celebrate blessings coming your way this morning. Celebrate the miracle that the Lord will perform in your life this morning. And make a joyful noise. Let somebody give God a shout. Amen and amen. Let me be seated in his presence. We are almost welcome in Jesus' name. Experiencing the wonders of grace, part two, is where we are today. And can I pray for you? You will surely experience the wonders of grace. Only one person is saying amen. amen. This morning, we're moving from Genesis to Exodus. Where are we going? Revelation. <laughs> Let somebody shout hallelujah. <laughs> And when she could not longer hide him, she took for him an ark of bulrushes and dubbed it with slime and with pitch and put the child therein and she lay it in the flats by the river's brink. And his sister stood afar off to we what would be done to him. And the daughter of Pharaoh came down to wash herself at the river. And her maiden walk along by the riverside. And when she saw the ark among the flower, she sent her maid to fetch it. And when she had opened it, she saw the child. And behold, the babe wept. And she had compassion on the line. And she had what? compassion on him and said, this is one of the Hebrews children. Then said the sister to Pharaoh's daughter, shall I go and call to thee a nurse of the Hebrew women that she may not the child for thee? And Pharaoh's daughter said to her, go. And the maid went and called the child's mother. Can you clap for grace? And Pharaoh's daughter said unto her, Take this child away and nurse it for me, and I will give thee thy wages. What men supposed not to pay you for, they will give you money for it. And the woman took the child and nursed it, and the child grew, and she brought him unto Pharaoh's daughter, and he became her son, and she called his name Moses. And she said, because I drew him out of the water. Beloved, if there is another person that experienced the wonders of grace, that fellow is boy Moses. That fellow is who? Boy Moses. Before Moses was born, if you read Exodus chapter 1, verse 8 to 10, and verse 15 to 17, you will discover that the Egyptians became threatened, particularly their king, and he did not hide it. He said it openly, that at the rate at which the children of Israel were growing in Egypt, because the Bible said the law kept increasing and multiplying them, and the fear of Egypt was that a day may come that they will jointly with their enemy to fight against them. Praise the Lord. May your fear be upon your enemy. And so, when Pharaoh thought of what to be done, he came up with wicked devices and called the Egyptian midwives and instructed them that henceforth 
Whenever they do the work of the midwife and there is any male child born to the Hebrew women, such child must be murdered, must be slaughtered. Praise the Lord. That was the directive. That was the counsel of the king of the land. Praise the Lord. But my Bible says, because the midwife feared the Lord, they refused to carry out the instruction of the king. And the king noticed it and called them to say, uh -uh, I ask you to kill these people and I perceive you are sparing them. They said, not so. That the Hebrew women are strong women. Before we could attend to them, they had already given birth. I pray for every pregnant woman in this place every pregnant woman in this church, you will depend on merited favor. He was supposed to die, but now he did not die. He lived. Can I pray for you? Any agenda of the wicked over you to take your life or any member of your household, God will frustrate them. Can you stand on your feet and lift up your tongue and say, Father, all the days of my life, let me not bury my children. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Lord, let me not bury my children. Oh God of heaven, in your mercy, by your grace, ah, Kalika Palega Dega Gaga 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 didn't, you didn't hear my prayer. You didn't hear me loud and clear. Anywhere they are sitting for judgment over your life, over your destiny, you will find compassion. Yeah. Lift up your two hands to heaven. Listen to me. We are talking about the wonders of grace. Here is a boy that is as good as dead. Good as... Listen to me. If rivers have even carried him away, say that one would have been better. It was the enemy go, 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 that says the boy must die. It was the doctor that saw him. Just a tip of finger like this, God will just come instantly and sacrifice the boy at River Nile. But grace, wonders of grace, deliver Moses from death, from judgment of death, lift up your two hands and say, Father, we are ever they are sitting over my case. We are ever evil judgment is to be passed against me. Let there be compassion for me. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Ask God for compassion. Yourself, your children can reparte Gazantalia. Ah, by grace, by the grace of God, by the grace of God, by the grace of God, let compassion, let compassion, let compassion overthrow judgment, let mercy overthrow judgment in the name of Jesus. Let my life attract mercy, let my life attract compassion. Pray, we are ever death is waiting for you, we are ever judgment is waiting for you. Let your life attract compassion, let your life attract pity, let your life attract mercy in the name of God by the grace of God. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, it shall be so. Beloved, be seated. Rather than judgment of death, grace brought mercy upon boy Moses. Number two, grace frustrates evil counsel. <laughs> you didn't hear me, sir. What does grace do? One of the wonders of grace is that grace frustrates what? Evil counsel. It was evil counsel from the king that every male child born by a Hebrew woman should die. Am I correct? It was an evil cancer. But look at what my Bible tells me. In Psalm 33, Psalm 33, verse 10 to 12, Psalm 33, verse 10, it says, The Lord bringeth the cancer of the hidden to what? To know. He maketh the devices of the people of none effect. 
the cancer of the Lord stand there forever. The thought of his heart to all generations. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord and the people whom he has chosen for his own inheritance. Over Moses, the counsel of the wicked was brought to all to know. Sir, that is what grace can do. When you find grace, when grace is upon you, whatever at the counsel of the enemy over your life, God will bring them to naught. That is the wonders of grace. And if you read Isaiah chapter 8 verse 10, Isaiah chapter 8 verse 10, Isaiah chapter 8 verse 10, the Bible says, take counsel together and it shall come to no. Speak the word and it shall not stand for God is with us. The word of Pharaoh could not stand over Moses for God was with him. Grace was with him. Stand on your feet. Lift up your two hands. Every evil can say, brethren, you better pray. I know I'm asking you to pray. Every evil can say from whatever quarter over your life, it shall be of no effect. Lift up your voice loud and clear. Say, Father, bring every evil counsel of the wicked over me and my family, over me and my household, to not, to not. Let them be of no effect. In the mighty name of Jesus, go ahead and talk to the mighty God. He said, take counsel together and it shall come to naught. Speak the word and it shall not stand. The word of the enemy will not stand over you. By the grace of God, that was the wonders. That was the wonders of grace. Kalika Palabosha. Marika Bragada. Grace frustrate cancel of the wicked. Grace frustrate cancel of the wicked. Let the grace of God frustrate every cancel of the wicked over our life this morning. Thank you, my chief father. In Jesus, my chief name, we have prayed. Self and send to the other. Wherever my father find a very, very loud amen. In that name, there is above every other name. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every cancel of the wicked over your life shall be brought to naught. He shall not stand. He shall not come to power. Only the counsel of God over your life shall stand. By the grace of God, only the counsel of the Lord over your life shall stand. The enemy shall speak the word. He shall not stand. God will make the word of the enemy over your life of no effect. Wherever they stand to pass judgment over you, it shall be of no effect. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Be seated. Number what now? Are you sure? No. Okay, number three. Number three. Grace will turn your enemies to your helper. <laughs> Hello. What did I say? Grace. Wonder. We are talking about wonder. Something unbelievable. Something very incredible, sir, ma. The senior sister of Moses stood watching what would become of the life of Moses. And now saw Pharaoh's daughter say, ah, this must be one of the sons of this Hebrew woman. This one will not die. Instantly, the sister said, should I look for a nurse for you? Should I do what? Look for a nurse for you? That will help you to raise the child. The doctor said, Oh, yeah, go and look for one quickly. What happened? They went and did what? And called who? The mother of Moses. <laughs> who did they call? The mother of Moses. Then the priest now said to her, Go and raise this child, and I will pay you your wages. God did not hell. God did not why you Hey, God did not hell. Somebody will experience the wonders of grace. Nobody be like her. Nobody be like her. one God in a hell. Sir, ma, it can only be grace. Turn the enemy to what? To help her. The same thing happened to David in 1 Samuel chapter 30. Reading from verse 30 to 16. 
when Amalekai had come to destroy and burn down his house in Ziglah, and he acquired of the Lord, and the Lord said, Pursue, overtake, and recover all. On his way, he saw the servant of the enemy. Hello? That is grace. It was the servant of the enemy that took David to where the enemies are. I decree upon this altar today, your enemy will turn out to be your helper. Stand on your feet and say, Father, by your grace, turn my enemies to my helper. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Your enemy will end up helping you. Ah, Pharaoh's daughter, enemy to Hebrews, they turn out to be helper. Kala, Bragas, and Talibaba. Jegede, Gezaka, Tobranda. Oh, Balega, Gaga, Gaga, Parababa. Kalebra da gagaga, kaje ke chale babo, kari prakata kabrande. We are talking about wonders of grace. Wonders of grace turn the enemy to be helper. Grace turn enemies to be helpers. Grace turn enemies to be helpers. Grace turn enemies to be helper. Let all my enemy turn out to be my helper. Lord, use my enemy to help me. Use my enemy to help me. Kara baka tabrana. Regerere Kazuka papa. Kayeka kaka baba baba. Karagadeka so tabrana. Thank you, mighty father. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Set for your heads with your tongue. Brethren, be expectant. Don't just hear this word for hearing sake. Don't just pray for praise sake. We are talking about experiencing the wonders of grace. In that name that is above everyone, your own will come to pass. I stand upon the authority of heaven and I decree upon this exalted altar of the most high God that before the end of this month, by the grace of God, the Lord will use your enemy to help you. God will use your enemy to promote you. God will use your enemy to bless you. If you are that villain, you may be louder than everybody. And so shall it be. Number four. Grace preserves destiny. Listen to me. When you have found grace with God, God will not allow you to be wasted. God will preserve your destiny unto fulfillment. Hello? If you look at the life of Moses as a whole, you will discover that God just decided to preserve his life by his grace. Perhaps because of the assignment that he has for him. Praise the Lord. That was why even Joseph was preserved if you read Genesis 45 verse 5, Genesis 45 verse 5, look at what Joseph said to his brother. He said, now therefore, be not grieved, nor angry with yourself, that ye sold me hither, for God did send me before you to preserve life. This was Joseph that they wished dead, but his destiny was preserved by God because of the grace upon him. Listen to me. When grace is upon you, man cannot kill you. Oh, you didn't hear me, sir. Your enemy will be defeated. You are saying, man, say it loud and clear. That's why Job said in Job 10:12, because it was grace that preserved the life of Job after he lost everything. If not for grace that preserved him, he couldn't, he wouldn't have been talking about he was restored, double fold. No, sir. It was because you were first and foremost preserved. That's why I'm praying for somebody here. God will preserve you. Because where there is life, there is hope. Job said in Job 10 to 12, he said, Thou hast granted me life and favor, and thy visitation has preserved my spirit. And thy visitation has done what? Preserved my spirit. I pray for you, sir. In that name that is above every other name, grace will preserve you. Number five, grace restores destiny. <laughs> Hello, one of the wonders of grace is that grace brings restoration. With all that happened to Moses after 40 years, by the time you read Exodus chapter 3, 
verse 10 to 12. One of the wonders of grace is that God still wait and look for Moses. God still wait and do what? Look for Moses and restore his destiny. Restore his purpose of creation. Restore why he created him. I am praying for you. But eventually the enemy have tampered with your life. Have tampered with your destiny. Grace will restore back your glory. I say grace will restore back your glory. I say grace will restore whatever you have lost. If you are that fellow, let your enemy be louder. Because of time. Number one now. Six. Sa. Ma. One of the wonders of grace that I want to experience and we go home and pray it is that grace makes great. Hello? What did I say? Grace makes great. One more time. Grace makes great. How many of us want to be great? Sa. It is one of the wonders of grace. When grace is upon a man, that fellow have no choice than to be great. And that's why I decree, you will be great. You will not die ordinary. Listen to me. Moses became so great that the testimony of God concerning Moses, he said to other prophets, I showed them vision. He said, but Moses, he said, I speak to him. Mouth by mouth. <laughs> Can you see how great that man was? Other, read the number chapter 12, verse 6 to 8. Number chapter 12, verse 6 to 8. When Miriam and Aaron, when they were conspiring against Moses, God said, how dare you? You know the fear? How dare you? It is Moses. Moses that my grace have been upon him. From bad till now, you, you are ganging up, you are conspiring. Don't you know that other prophets, I speak to them by vision. But for Moses, <laughs> hello, for what? I speak to him how? Mouth by mouth. Can I pray for you, sir? In that name that is above every other name. By the grace of God, you shall be great. I say you shall be great. If you are saying amen, say it loud and clear. Listen to me. Paul, see this, be said. Paul was talking about his greatness. Look at what he said about his greatness. He said, Whereof I was made a minister. <laughs> Paul, a sinner. Paul, a persecutor. He said, Whereof I was made what? A minister according to the gift of the grace of God, given unto me by the factual working of his power, makes great. By what? By grace. How many of you want to be great? Grace will make you great. So that I can take it together. My beloved brethren, which number am I now? Seven. Seven is perfect number, isn't it? Last one and I'll be on my way. Beloved, <laughs> put your hand together for Jesus. I know you will love this one. And if you don't love it, pray it for me. Sir, ma, not only the grace perform wonder, but rather grace turn you to a wonder. Grace turn you to what? When grace is upon you, your entire embodiment, your entire existence is what? It's all about wonder. When you look at the life of Moses, from birth till his death, you know how till today, nobody knows where Moses died. Nobody knows where Moses was buried. Only God knows where he killed Moses, where he buried it, till today. Two of us. His life started with wonder. In between wonders and it end in wonder. What happened? Grace. If you read Exodus 7, verse 1, Exodus chapter 7, verse 1, God said to Moses, He said, Listen, you don't even know what you are in for. I will make you God unto what? Unto Pharaoh. 
Have you, is it not like that in your Bible? What did he say? And the Lord said unto Moses, See, I have made thee a God to Pharaoh. And Aaron, thy brother, shall be thy. Because God made Moses God to Pharaoh. When Moses got to Egypt, he performed wonders and miracles that have never been performed by any, any human being. He was embodiment of wonder. Stand on your feet. Lord, turn my life to a wonder. By your grace, 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 make me great and turn me to wonder. Are you still looking at me? Will you turn it to prayer and say, Father, by your grace, make me great and turn my life to a wonder. The life of Moses, the totality of the life of Moses was wonder, was wonder because of the grace of God, because of the grace right from his death to his death. All were wonders, all were wonders. Is somebody praying at all? Is somebody praying at all? Daddy, let your grace turn me to a wonder. Let your grace make me great in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Beloved, you haven't heard anything yet. One of the wonders of grace is your salvation. One of the wonders of grace is your forgiveness. For God to forgive you is one of the wonders of grace. I don't know who here this morning. You know it that you need forgiveness from God. You need his salvation. Before I pray for you, can you lift up your right hand and I pray with you? If you are that fellow, God bless you, my brother. God bless you. Don't raise the hand where you are and I pray for you where you are. Don't raise that hand. Don't raise that hand. Any other person? Any other person? Now, lift up the hands. Everybody, lift up your hands. The hand I saw have declined. I hope it's not out of shyness you are declining. Because the greater thing that can happen to you is that you are saved. Brethren, I want to make some specific pronouncement. Why? You are a man like Moses. If Moses could experience the wonders of grace, like I said yesterday, we all are in a better dispensation. Now it's even the dispensation of grace than the time of Moses. So we have no choice than for grace to perform wonders in our life. I decree wherever my father finds the loudest amen, grace will make you great. You will not die ordinary. You will not die unknown. Grace of God will activate your greatness. Grace of God will advertise your destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord will make you great. On every side, God will make you great. Financially, you'll be great. Materially, you'll be great. Oscar, tell you Allah. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. By the grace of God, in your lifetime, financially, you shall be great. You will not die poor. You will never be a beggar. All the days of your life. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And somebody will say, a better and a resounding put those hands together for Jesus. Congratulations. I will hear your testimony. We continue tomorrow experiencing the wonders of grace. I told us that it is so, the revelations are so much. I just pray that God will use them to meet you at the point of your contact. I mean God will use them to turn your own situation around. Even the one you have had this morning, God will magnify so much that to be used to turn your situation around and to turn your story around. If you are that fellow, you may be louder than your neighbor. 
In the evening, we'll be returning back for fake cleaning. The time remains 6.30 to uh, 7.30. And as you come, come prepare, come with expectation. All I know is that the God of all grace will make his grace abound towards us. And tomorrow, we continue from where we stop, looking at it from another perspective, experiencing the wonders of the grace of God. The Lord bless you, Regu. Who got the bigger blessing? Be the one to shout the loudest hallelujah. The grace.